to a holiday potluck this season, a great and healthy option is to bring a cheese platter. And Terry Verison is here, registered dietitian with the Dairy Council of Arizona. She's going to show us how to make some terrific ones, including one recipe that I just can't wait to share with you. Good to kind see of you. One of my favorites. Good to see I you. I know. Too, All right. Why do you think cheese is always a good option when you're kind of putting together you know a what? platter? So many people just love cheese, and it's an easy thing to put together. You start with maybe three to five different varieties. Have something that's kind of creamy, something that's sharp, maybe something that's smoky, and have a variety of different cheeses on there. It's so simple to put together. You can kind of pick up your, your ingredients on the way and put it together at the party so there's not much pre-prep to go on. Yeah, that's true. And it's true. a great option. That's what I like. All right, let's show what you brought first up. I, you have two different trays here, which I really love because it's that variety you talked about. It is. It's just a wide variety. And depending on what size platter you use, you could put everything all on one. You can do a, a, you know, a few small ones and separate them out. But again, we've got something that's creamy. With let's talk about like these cheeses. Cheese. What do you have here? You bet. So what is the, that? the green one is kind of a wasabi horseradish so anytime you have something that's a little right different or maybe a little hot that maybe people might be um, a little concerned about eating from the heat <laughs> put a note put a note on there of what it is and you can do that for all of them something like a blue cheese people know that you yeah. look at that and you see that that's a blue cheese and I can't have a holiday cheese platter or in any cheese platter without incorporating my favorite the curds. cheese curds oh my yep. gosh you guys they, if you have not had these they are so good and they're actually, today is Thursday, so today at noon, they were fresh at the Milk and More store at um, Broadway and Hardy in Tempe. So and if anybody knows them. fresh cheese curds with the squeakiness in them, go pick them up this afternoon so good. and get those fresh cheese What about curds. this one? This one, again, just a variety of different cheeses. We've got something creamy. We've got something smoky. We also have some of those Arizona cheese, um, Arizona Farms cheeses. They've got a new um, garlic and pepper cheddar, and they've got a pepper oh, jack. Okay. Incorporate some nuts, some fruit, um, wrap in prosciutto, wrap, you know, do a whole variety of things and you can be creative with those. And these are those peppery kind of cheeses mm -hmm. here. All right. Yep, those are the peppery ones. Yeah, it's good to have the variety. It is. The recipe that we made is blue cheese covered grapes. So you see a cheese ball rolled in nuts and you think that it's just a cheese ball all the way through, but when you bite through, that's cheese that's wrapped around a grape in the middle. So there's you that guys, cool, refreshing grape in the middle that's sort of a surprise. I'm telling you, these are so good. You're going to want to make them for your next party. How do you make them, Terry? They are simple. You start with, um, and again, we're using Arizona you have? products. We've got um, blue cheese, and we're using the Greek cream cheese. You mix that up. You can put in a dash of Tabasco or something if you'd like, just a little bit of heat in there. And then you take your grapes and you... It's kind of a play with your food moment. You roll you the roll grapes in there. And... You roll them out. You drop them in. Nuts. All right. And here, these are two also very simple things. Um, the Greek cream cheese, and here we've covered it with a raspberry chipotle. Very simple. So good. A variety of a Where'd variety you get of the crackers. raspberry chipotle? Um, I pick it up at Costco, but you can get it anywhere. anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Anywhere. And then here. And then think about cheese for a dessert as well. So here we've got a way to kind of put cheese together as a dessert. Same um, type of thing with the cream cheese, but we've used a apricot jam. You could use any kind of jam. Some toasted cinnamon nuts on there. Have a cheese that has some fruit embedded in it, or cheese, some of the cheeses that are a little slightly sweet, and you can pick those up. Smoky goes well with fruit. Um, a variety of different things on and there chocolate. as well. And chocolate. And throw chocolates, All throw right. fruit, anything on there. And cheese provides one of those three servings of milk, cheese, or yogurt that you need each day. So you're getting the protein, the calcium, the nutrients from Excellent. the cheese and it's delicious and you know what you do with leftover cheese from a cheese tray what grilled cheese sandwiches all right there you go in this <laughs> recipe everybody for these we will have on our website later today at recipes.12news.com and for more information go to dairycouncilofaz.org coming up more holiday help we have a